In the past, property owners had very few choices in shingles. Now consumers can choose from a wide range of shingles that will make their house stand out with a fantastic appearance. The right choice can often increase the home's resale value. New designer shingles are larger and thicker than the standard laminated shingles. Designer shingles are built to provide the ultimate in durability and they look phenomenal. In this segment, we are going to cover the installation procedures for a variety of different shingles that GAF offers. Now, let's begin with the Camelot shingles. Camelot is GAF's top-of-the-line ultra-premium designer laminated shingle. Because it is a designer laminate, it is more dimensional and thicker than a standard shingle. All fasteners should be long enough to penetrate at least three quarters of an inch into wood decks or just through the plywood deck or OSB deck. Begin with the starter course using weather blocker starter strip shingles. Install the starter shingles in full pieces, 17 by 40 inches. The first shingle is a full shingle placed flush with the starter at the rate and the eave edge. One advantage is you can lay the shingles left to right or right to left. Use five fasteners to properly hold Camelot Ultra Premium shingles in place. Nail through the nail line to allow for fastener penetration through the double ply area. The two outermost nails must be installed one to one and a half inches from either edge of the shingle. Where six nails are required by local codes, fasten one to one and a half inches, six and a half to seven and a half inches, and fifteen and a half to sixteen and a half inches from each end. For the second course, trim one half tab, four and five sixteenths inches, from the shingle. Attach this shingle with a minimum of five fasteners. Continue the second course with full shingles across the roof and attach with a minimum of five fasteners per shingle. Start the first shingle in the third course by trimming off one full tab, eight and five eighths inches from the shingle. Attach this shingle with a minimum of four fasteners. Continue with full shingles across the roof and attach with a minimum of five fasteners per shingle. Start the first shingle in the fourth course by trimming off one and a half tabs from the shingle. Attach this shingle with a minimum of four fasteners. Continue with full shingles across the roof and attach with a minimum of five fasteners per shingle. As you move up the roof, strike a chalk line to check for proper parallel alignment. For course five and the remaining courses, start over again with a full shingle and repeat all subsequent instructions. 